Okay, welcome back, Space Monkeys. I've been working hard through the night, um, crafting and building and tunneling and stuff. But like a few minutes ago, I had all these drones converge on my base. Like once you turn your base on, you do get random mini gun drone attacks, and more powerful ones too. But there's fire at him, and yet there are five of them out there. Now I think it's going to be a bit of a suicide mission if I just go up up and out my entrance so I've got an idea what I can do about that anyway we're going to show you look, I'll put some lights up in here because it's blinking dark and I dug my way down a tunnel down this way a few more lights here too this is what I used all these wooden planks for um, and I dug out this big chamber and I'm about to start my farm in here so I thought it'd be a good, good time to bring you guys back in I built a fridge oh uh, yeah a fridge and a food processor and a storage box I've got all my sprouts and things with me. Once I place this, I think I'll be able to make more of these planting spots, these planting pots. Did I bring those with me? I think I might have left those in the other chest. Hold on, let's go get them. Because they're quite important, as you could imagine. Did I leave them in this one? No, maybe this one. Is it this constructor? Yeah, there they are. See, growing pots. Yeah, we'll need, we'll need those. Um, and I built a bit of a ramp up here too, so I don't have to keep jumping up there. Um, but yeah, this took like quite a while to mine out this whole bit here. Right, so we're going to put down the planting pots. Put them right by the door. Now you might wonder why I'm planting 3x3. Three three. I'll show you once I put the light up on the roof. If you go one, two up, so that's three up on the underside, and that that illuminates three by three, so you can get nine plants in there. But first up, I think I'll do wheat. And what's the other one I've got? I've got um, and some corn. Yeah, there's some pretty good plants to start I guess okay and I've just gone up a level too and since I've made a bit of room here I'm gonna put this cargo box down except it's kind of hard to see if it's all right way around like that. it kind of looks silly whichever way you put these too, but whatever um, and we'll put our the food processor and our fridge in there for now um, we were getting quite low on food too so I had to eat um, another one of those rations I've got a few power packs, but that's good. Um, that sugar cane in there. I made a whole bunch of bullets for the assault rifle, and I made the assault rifle. And I'm not sure if you guys were here when I did that, but. <laughs> There's heaps of them. Fire up. There's five drones. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to just pop up my hole and try and take them on, or, or not right not right now anyway, so um, what I'm going to do, um, I do have to build a tunnel, sort of down to the beach anyway, my plan is, I've got my machines on the beach here, and here's my base, so what I'm sort of thinking of doing, oh they were a bit down here a bit weren't they, I think they were in that little cove, but what I'm thinking of doing is building a tunnel across here, or at least out that way, until it gets to the open ground, and then putting a turret out there a little bit more, so when the drones converge on my base, they won't be just sitting over top of the um, the gun turret. The gun turret will be, but its maximum range will be sort of just over my base, so as they fly over, it'll pick them off. But see if I put it like about there, so if I tunnel out to the west, see that one's kind of flying out there too. But I think if I put it out there somewhere, it'll be right. I'm going to dig my tunnel out there first, probably pop out and kill these ones with my assault rifle, and then we'll build that, that tower. So when this happens next time, my turret out there will, will start to kill them. And I could even put a couple here, you know, I'll put, let's like, say, one there and one there, maybe one down by the beach somewhere. Or I could just ring my whole 
my whole base with them, but I'm going to have to build out that way first because you can't just put them down on empty empty uh, empty land. You know, it has to be on one of these sorts of blocks or a concrete block or or something. And to place these blocks, you do need to build the base starter um, block, which you know takes quite a while. It's got like quite a few resources to get the core to make that first. But um, yeah, sometimes it's you know it's not. Uh, yeah, I might just keep. I'll, I'll mine here, and I'll bring. I'll bring you guys back. Okay, welcome back. Um, I'll be mining for a little bit, um, but I'm starting to get quite hungry. So what I did is I put down my food processor. It's actually quite dark in here, so I'm going to lighten this up a bit. I probably take this wall, these uh, these walls back a bit, and put a few more lights in. But um, I put down my food processor, my fridge. And I've made some seaweed snacks because I'm getting quite hungry. But you see, there's a whole whole bunch more food eh, we can make in here. Look, oh yes, heaps of different things we can make. Sprouts from the um, from the plants we have. We'll multiply our plants, space fries, stomach pills, all sorts of things. Eh, you know. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, um, I'm gonna keep mining for a bit. I've just about broken through the surface. Um, I should actually just show you my tunnel quickly. Um, hold on, where's my flashlight? It's quite a long way. It did take like a few drill charges just to get through here. So I've got a door here just in case, but it still keeps going, keeps going. All the way down here. All the way down here. And this is where I'm going to build up. I'm going to build a pillar like, breaking up through the surface here with a gun tower on the top. But I'm about... I don't know, maybe a bit, a little over a hundred meters out from from there. See, the the deposit is about ninety-eight meters, but I think that's from the center. Um, my base icon doesn't show. I don't think so. I'm probably too close for it to show. Or at least where my survival constructor is. I'm not really sure if it. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep mining here, and I'll uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, welcome back. I thought I'd bring you back in because we've broken through the surface just up here. Um, I'm just waiting for dawn so I can go out and kill those drones without the space monsters getting me too. See, I think we're just far enough away. Oops, on that map. I think we're just far enough away that we can get to the very edge of the range of these guys and not have to deal with all five at once. Because, like, by themselves they're okay, but if you get, like, four or five at once, I'll stick my head up above the air and they'll just, you know, they'll shoot me to pieces, basically. Um, but we're going to spend some skill points. Um, ooh, what should we... Oh, are we high enough to get that? No, not yet. Can we make any more weapons? Sniper rifle. Ooh, yeah, let's at least unlock the sniper rifle. Um, are there any more base ones we need? Oh, I bought the um, elevator block because I made a few of those because I thought we'd be down a lot lower. Um, see, the trouble with this other interior light is I don't know if it's brighter than the other one because it costs exactly the same as the other one. But we're going to get the plant grow light. I'll just leave that other light for now because I, I don't know. Sentry gun, uh, I don't really need a sentry gun because I don't know if they shoot up in the air and that's really all we, all we want one for now. But I might spend some of these and start building, start researching the ones for the ship so we'll get the RCS, the spotlight cube, the docking pad, oh, do I really, oh, yeah because I need the landing gear, don't I? Yep, landing gear. Tier two landing gear. What's the what's the difference? Are they just like higher hit points or something? They weigh more. I don't know why. Oh, maybe you need that for more advanced um, ships or something. I don't know. But we'll get the generator, and we've got a few more points left. We'll do the small constructor, um, and just enough for the fuel tank. No, we don't quite have enough for that, but. I think that yeah that unlocks all the um the hover vessel ones too. So once we like, buy a few more of these we'll be able to build the hover vessel too and it'll it'll save a lot of time moving around the planet. But that's cool. That's cool. 
you know, I ate those seaweed snacks, it just about filled me, and I made, I think, five of them. I've made an extra gun, so I will put that up outside somewhere. Maybe not today, but um, elevator blocks to get up, yeah, I made like eight of those. I've got heaps, heaps of stuff, a door too, I'll put a door in here eventually. But, um, yeah, I'll bring you back at dawn. Okay, welcome back, it's nearly dawn. I'm just trying to pick the right spot to go. So I see... So, you know, less of these drones can see me. I think I'll go now. I should be able to jet, jet out of there. Jet back off and sprint. Oh shit, they're shooting at me. But I'll get a bit further away because I don't want more than one being able to shoot at me. If I can get over here. Dick. Dickhead. Fuck man, I'm just all, they're all coming now. Dick. That's why I didn't want to be up there with all of them around. I'm not quite far away. Take that and see it's waking up the other ones too, so they'll start chasing me too. Mm. Oh, you dickhead. I'll come down here a bit while it. Oh no, he's just up here. Look. I think that's all of them. Let's go and loot them because I'll have good stuff. Yeah, that was pretty hardcore. I thought they were going to kill me there. Oh, look, they've got all sorts of components and things. Sweet. We'll take your stuff. Jeez, man, I was just trying to mind my own business, so you, these ducks come and try and kill me. Fuck, man. But all this stuff. Oh, look, three reactor cores. That's a good score. Because they, they're quite expensive and difficult to make, hey? I'll take your bullets. And somehow I'll run through your rusting corpse. Oh look, yeah, a lot more stuff there. Okay, cool. So it's all those drones dead. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here and I'm going to explore just to see if there's any more ore up around the side of that lake. So yeah, we'll bring you back. Okay, welcome back. I've, uh, I've gone over that mountain, around this lake. I haven't found any ores over that side. But there is another alien base here, or Crashed MS Titan front part. So that's part of a um, alien spaceship that's crashed out there. So that's another base we can loot when we're tooled up a bit better. Um, what I might do from here, I think, is kind of run around this bit here, see if there's any ore in these places here, and I'll bring you back if anything crazy happens. Okay, welcome back. I've run a little way. I've gone like over that mountain and over to this this other lake. Um, there's a drone base up there or, or, or something up there. There must be a base because there was a drone sort of buzzing along that mountain side there. Um, but it's actually getting kind of late. So I might do the run back to one of these deposits. Probably one of these iron ones. 95. Yeah, I'll do that one. So I'll go ahead. I'll head right straight west and I'll bring you guys back okay welcome back um, I'll be mining pretty much through the night I did a little bit in the cobalt, co cobalt um, mine oh no sorry I did the iron mine first and then I did the cobalt one I've got a whole bunch of iron and cobalt I've got about you know, 500 odd of both of them but my plan for today I think I'm going to do a bit more exploring. Now there's, there's my base up there. What I might do is sort of skirt around the edge of this lake and see if there's any more minerals or ores around here. Because um, then I'll have like almost the whole circle sort of around my base, you know, a bit, bit out to the horizon that I've, um, that I've explored. See, I've done up there a bit. That's where the alien ship is. That's the base up there. Um... There's a few more ores around, but really what I'm looking for, what I really, really need, is some Promethium to uh, make fuel, pla fuel packs, because I don't think I really have too many of those left, to be honest. 
And if we run out of those, we're kind of buggered, really. Because um, that means none of my machines will work. If I put the guns up, they won't work, you know. My food, food processor, my grow lights, the constructor, the large constructor, the small one will work without, um, without power, you know. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you along for this run back home because we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring, you know. We'll go sort of out this way a little bit and we might find some plants. I had to eat another um, emergency ration. Oh, nice. That's exactly what I needed. Silicon as well. Sweet. That's two, two things we really, really need because silicon, um, I think you use that for some of, the, um, some of the electrical components in that and I was getting a bit short on silicon to be honest. Where are they? Oh, it's actually quite far away, but I think we will actually run, run down there. It's just over this hill, really. I don't like these forests, so you look there. I hear all sorts of crazy space monkeys and that going off. What's that, Cobra leaves? No, oh. no actually, we'll leave that. We'll leave that, because the inventory is getting full. And we've only got like one more spot, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to chuck something away if we want to pick up both silicon and promethium. Yeah, because it is still quite a, uh, yeah, it's a little way from, from base, I guess. Maybe I should just get the promethium and come back for the silicon, because promethium is really the priority now. Because without power, yeah, like I said, yeah, we're kind of buggered, really. Oh, I might get some of these corn dog things on the way too. Because until I can build a few more of those uh, like grow boxes and start growing my own veggies, I'm going to be a bit stuck. Whoops, I'm going to be <laughs> a bit stuck for food. Sorry, I didn't mean to um, blast my rifle like that. Luckily, I made a whole buttload of bullets there. So I've got like another thousand back at the base or something, and heaps of bullets for the turrets too. I didn't really need to bring all the turrets and things with me, but... Um, oh look, there's a... There's a blue spot on the ground there. I guess that's Promethium. Well, let's just harvest from there. We'll eat this too. I hope I picked up two of those and didn't like consume something really valuable just then. But that's all good. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to mine this for a bit and I'll bring them back. Okay, welcome back. I've uh, ironed a whole lot of sil uh, mined a whole lot of silicon. Um, see, I've got a little bit of promethium. That'll be enough hey, for now because I think it does multiply out. So, like one ore might be I don't know, twenty pellets or something. Oh, I just hope I can get out of here now. That's the last little bit of my drill charge. Ooh, I'm gonna be buggered if I'm stuck down here. I hope I can get up there. Oh, yeah, good, good. Okay, yeah, I'll just miss the jump there, but it's alright. Okay, cool, cool. Now, those aren't really too far away. I think if I get a hover vehicle, I'll be able to just come back to those and like, clean them out. Um, I need to go west, kind of, I think. You will follow around the edge of this. And I'll, I'll bring you back if I find anything interesting. Okay, welcome back. I'm just about home and there's one of these dickheads here trying to kill me. And he'll probably drop, um, plant some things. Oh, I'll tell you what, can I swap these over? I can. I'll take your plants, mate. Pumpkins. Um, sugar cane, I think I've got heaps of that. Um, yellow, uh, glass panes, I can make heaps of those. Uh, spoiled food is something we do kind of need. Um, um, I think cables are. Oh, what should I leave behind, guys? 
and gills. I oh, do you really want that spoiled food. Um, bugger it, we'll just leave it, eh? Um, no, we'll, I better take it because it is really important. Um, let the flipping metal things, what are they, metal pieces, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty cheap, okay. Now where's my hole, it's out here somewhere, I should have probably put a light, a light around it, eh? But there's my base, so it should be like over here somewhere, shouldn't it? Is it up there? I think it might, no, there it is. Okay, yeah, so that should give a pretty good field of fire if I stick a gun up over here somewhere, eh? Maybe I should do that before I jump out. Oh, before I jump in, I mean. I've still got my blocks. Uh, no, we'll go one more. Um, press F5 for the drone. You can use this for building. This is really cool. It's a bit unwieldy, but it's it's look it's a cool thing that they've um, added in this game. Um, I don't think it was in previous versions, but maybe it was always here. I don't know. I've only just started playing on this version, really. So we need like a 3x3 three three up there. Yeah, that'll be good. And another one over here. And you can access your inventory too and place blocks as though that's you flying through the air. And something you, could, you should keep in mind too is it's not an actual asset in the game. Like it's not an actual object. So if you lose it or it blows up or, you know, it's not a big deal. Oh shit, there's a big monster coming over here. Is it like a bloody spider or something? Oh, I hear you, buddy. Over there, look. I don't like the look of him. It's a kid. This is my neighbourhood. I don't want creepy bugs. Oh, he's got some raw meat that would be good for food, but... We're going to leave it. Okay, now that that guy's uh, dead, and we can do this without being interrupted, hopefully, we'll stick our gun like that way, facing our base. Cool. And can we still get down, down this hole? I hope so. Maybe not quite. We might not, oh, yeah, yeah, just, that's good, that's good. Oops, I don't mean to fire my pistol off like that. That's not usually how I announce myself getting home. See how my plants are doing quickly? Uh, yeah, the slowly. Okay, um, I'll use, I think, this one to make the ore. So, we'll, or the, the ingots at least. Um, so we've got iron, and we'll do the cold cobalt first. We'll do like a hundred of those. And then we'll do the iron. We'll do a hundred of those too. Doesn't matter if you put in too many, because it, you know. Oh, we should make some fuel. Yeah, we'll take those and we'll make some fuel charges. And with this one. Good, I did fill up the ammo box. Um, now, if you press P, it comes up with all the components in your base so I'm gonna turn that to alien and other factions and that will attack only drones it'll leave all the animals and stuff alone so it'll fire automatically okay and this one what else did we get um, yeah we'll dump all these components we picked up off those drones too because yeah, we've got a lot of good stuff computers they're quite expensive to make three reactor cores capacitor thing jigs yeah that's that's a good score getting all those that's a good score. And we've got 
but we picked up enough to be able to make like a fair few of these components for the hover vehicle so we might do that overnight too cool cool we'll make some um what the heck is that pentax blue crystal for warp drives oh i picked up a few of those how many oh i need one okay we'll, we'll just make some promethean pellets anyway we'll make say that many and we'll dump like the food and plants and things in this in this one over here um, we'll put the food in here the spoiled food we're going to need that um, carve beans copra leaves I don't mind if they actually go if they actually perish because we'll get spoiled food and then we can use that to build more of the planting pots you see we'll put all our fibre in there too um, Alien Plasma, yep, we'll put that in there. Oh, look, I got a whole lot more Promethium ore than what I thought I did, that's cool. I thought I only got like eight or something. And we'll put the rest of these plants away in here. You see, I'll let... I thought I'd left some behind, but it's just clicking it back into my thing. Yep, that's good, that's good. Okay, yeah, well, what I might do, I'll, I'll leave it here and I'll do some crafting and stuff and I'll bring you back. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're just about to place our elevator blocks. So this will be an easy way for us to get up the top there. Is it high enough? Let's see to go down. So press space bar and we can come up here and pew 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 cool cool and it's just underneath that turret too okay cool cool i'll stick some more lights in that up there too but for the moment that'll be all right yeah so, yeah so um I'll, I'll do some crafting and i'll see what i can finish with that vehicle before it gets to daylight and then we'll probably go outside and put it together if we've got all the pieces we need. But yeah, well, thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back. I thought I'd bring you back because there's some drones on the way to attack my base. I'd sort of like to figure out how well this tower does. I wonder if they'll get attracted to the central base of where I am. So I wonder if I should just kind of sit here and wait for them to... But then again, my turret might need help. I don't really want that to get destroyed so quickly because it was quite expensive to make maybe I'll go up the oh, yeah will I be able to go up the elevator and shoot them from up there? probably sorry I'll put my flashlight on so you guys can see what I'm up to trouble is if I sit here or if they shoot around me and blow up these blocks that means all this is going to fall down maybe I'll just hide down here for a minute and then if I'm lucky what, what they'll do is I'll sweep over the top of my base and my turret out here will just pick them off but usually have a little bit of, a little bit of time before they come but it's still um still dark outside so how's my things going here not too bad not too bad I'm not see if I can craft a few more things here um, nutrient jelly what are you? oh I was gonna get some water on my way in too but I didn't have room bugger well I did craft up the small constructor though um, two thrusters I'm not sure if I brought you in for those but um yeah They're still not on my radar yet. I think what what would be cool in this game is if they added a radar as well. So instead, it will be, there they are. Oh, that'll be good. They'll they'll probably come over that hill, and my gun here will be able to pick them off. Yeah, if there was a radar in this game, 
so you could see like a little bit further and uh, um, waypoints would be good too if we could add our own waypoints so if we could say I don't know my box is here or here's my ship or, or something now they're gonna fly over there's only three of them though so maybe that gun will be alright I might be able to pick them off but those two are quite close How far do you think they'll have to be before the gun will pick them off? Oh look, it's blowing one of them up. Two of them up. Alright, yeah, here comes the other one. Massive. Massive. That was an awesome place to stick the gun then. Let's go out and loot them, eh? There's going to be monsters out here. Oh, there's two more drones coming in though. Where's my hole? Are they? Oh no, those ones have been killed. I think. I can't quite push with this guy. The other one just here. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff in here, too. Where did the other one go down here? Okay, well, while I'm out and about, I might actually get some water then because it's not really that far down to my, uh, down to my machines. Let's just see on the map where we are. Yeah, it's like down there somewhere. So if we go like south, it's very dark. Usually I don't like to walk around at night because there's the scarier monsters, oh good I can hear them, the scarier monsters out at night. I'll take a water. I'll take a water, we'll juice it up again. We should juice this one too. We won't quite have enough for this oxygen one but it'll be alright. Seems to me a lot of oxygen. Okay, let's go back. Now this is kind of why I wanted a um, some lights on my turret, so I'll be able to see it out at night, you see. And my hole will be around here somewhere, where is it? Is that it? No. I can't find my hole now. Back over like this way somewhere. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, good. Oh! I thought I was going to break my leg there. I've been playing Seven Days to Die a bit too much. Eh? You see what we got? Oh, well, look, four computers, some capacitor devices, a um, couple of motors and things. Oh, neat, neat. That's some of the things we need to make more of those directional thrusters too, I think. So we'll stick all the stuff in here, more components, more pieces. Um, two more reactor cores, they're, that's cool because they're quite expensive to make some pipes, electronics, cables, oh neat, so we'll be able to make at least a few of these I think, that's a good score, that's a good score, we'll see if we, oh there's a one motor, six electronics, we'll queue up three of those, it might be able to make all of those, Okay, we're going to our farm and I'm going to make something really quickly. Now, can I make nutrient solution? Not yet, because I need to make purified water. Can I make that in here, or is that the con... Oh, that might be the constructor. Okay. Can I do it on the small one? I hope so. Let's put like half of it in there and see. No, we can't. Okay, so it has to be in the big constructor. That's alright though, that's alright. So we actually might make the make that first. Uh, what's it in? There we go, yeah, purified water. Okay, we'll make a whole buttload of that. We'll make like a hundred bottles and see here yeah, we had enough for three thrusters, so we got enough for another one. No, not quite, but we need one more motor. Okay, that's good, that's good. 
Okay, we'll take the purified water. Sure, I'm kind of rushing around a bit, but I'm quite excited to be up to this next little stage, you know. So we'll be able to make some nutrient gel. So that needs four rock dust, purified water, and spoiled foods. We'll turn that on. So we picked up some spoiled foods, so we'll be able to make five of those. do we need for those? We need some metal plates, that's good because we actually brought some with us. How many do we need? Four metal plates, okay we'll just chuck them all. I'm sure I left some more behind eh, in one of these things. But we'll grab those while they're crafting. Did I leave some in here? I think I did. Yeah we'll take, we'll take those, we'll take those. I should have probably put this a bit closer to the door because it's a bit of a hassle at the back. Um, metal plates. So we've got 28 of those, what else do we need? Fibre and nutrient solution. So we'll make five of those. Awesome. That's that's really good progress actually. Because we'll be able to plant more of these, grow more plants, grow more food. See my food's just about gone. I've got one of these emergency rations left. One. So yeah, that won't last long. But we'll plant, we'll plant these ones while those other ones are crafting. I just really hope I get this in the right spot. So put it down there, and put the other one there. Okay, and these other ones should be just about done by now. Oh, you're just wait for this last one, and I need more nutrient solution. So I'm going to need more spoiled food. So to get that, I can either hunt an animal and let the meat spoil or I can um, I can just carry around some plants and th they spoil eventually too so we'll stick in a few more of these plants we'll stick in say what have we got tomato pumpkin corn we'll do all our corn I think and we'll do We'll do a couple of aloe if we've got room. We probably won't though. So we'll do our corn first. So aloe, I think you can use that to make healing items too, but like at the moment, I really just want food. See, the more of these I've got under here, the better. Um, aloe, yeah, we'll stick the aloe in that. Oh, shall we just... Oh. Ex Maybe we'll keep this one all food and we'll use another one for medicine and that later. So we'll put those away and we'll plant, say, a durian. Notice my food is flashing red. That's because I'm just about starving. But that's alright, we're going to eat our very last ration. And that'll feed it, fill our hunger bar up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, I'm going to craft and mine and get ready for the next day and I'll bring you guys back.